Today we're diving into work in progress or WIP reporting for your building or your general contracting business, how to get that number into your QuickBooks system. This is something that a lot of folks are confused about, but it is really quite simple. I want to demystify it and break it down for you. And so what this is, is that at any given point in a project as a contractor, we're invoicing and receiving payments for work. And at almost no point in time is that amount that we've invoiced equal to the amount of work we've done. Think about the concept of a deposit, right? We have a project that's about to start. We get a deposit, $50,000. We haven't done a single bit of work yet. We're kind of overbilled, right? We have to do work to earn that. And that's fine. What we want to do is we want to practice that. We want to be ahead on our billing so that we have cash to pay our subcontractors and pay for materials, etc. So it's a good operational tactic. But we also want to make sure that our reporting is not skewed. If I put that $50,000 deposit immediately to revenue, it's going to show this big revenue. I haven't done any work yet. So we can combat that in two ways. One is tracking a deposits account within QuickBooks Online. And the second is to make month ending WIP journal entries. I'm going to show you both of those today.